everyone, it's Kronos and in this video I would like to be showcasing Fairy King's Blessing. So it's the heal Maggie from the new, I guess you could say Maggie banner. So, restores HP for you and your allies, grants temporary immunity to stagger, nullifies status ailments or status effects for 6 times. Nullify only works one time every time you set out for the field or quests. Others with count effect limitation do not stack. So that basically means count limitation, meaning if it's used up, such as Angel's Embrace, the one time resurrection, if it will not stack with that. So, but it will stack with the buffs from Clara Erasmus and stuff like that because it is not one time. So this Maggie is super good, especially when you're out. Um, Especially when you let's just go to this mission thing here. So when you're doing these um missions and you go to an area of the map where there are poison stuff, for example. So you have the for the, in this instance you have the baboozles. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, so you have the boobels a eh? So these will poison you, so if you have it up, I'm not so sure, I'm going to quickly charge it up once, so the charge time isn't too bad, okay, we'll hit it once to get its attention, there you go, so now I'm poisoned, you can sort of think of this like a pure cure, so, um, okay, so it seems like it does not cure the status ailment so if you're already poisoned you will stay poisoned it actually seems like so we'll try that again once we get rid of the poison so now that the maggie has charged we'll wait for the poison to wear off okay so it should heal 1600 as well so we'll hit that one as well so as you see, this is the attack that should poison me. But as you see, the poison is not... I'm not being poisoned. Okay, so once the barrier breaks, I don't know how many times or attempts that took. But as you saw, I had like a shield on top. Once that breaks... Then yeah, it, br it breaks. And then I think you'll have to either switch area maps once or then um leave the area once which sort of sucks but i think once the once that status ailment thing goes away you'll have the anti stagger once that goes away though so once you can take status effects again the angels embrace star should come up so you can get res resurrected again so yeah it's six times and sadly it does not work so you can just recast and that's the same in expeditions as well expeditions tower once it's been status affected six times you won't get that thing again but one of the best things about this maggie is let's say the new expedition i'll show it there so if you have like the necroth set for example i'm just gonna quickly do this so that i don't behemoth and bow okay so the expedition the black cage expedition you have the ireful zaxna so already as it is the necroth attack speed is pretty slow isn't it well you have the zaxna has attack speed debuffs so with this maggie it's super useful because you can counter that i guess you could say so be careful you have to remember that it's only six times though that's what sort of sucks you can't recast and it's only six times but otherwise it's super good also especially for the quests like you know the field behemoth quests for the extra gems that you have on the map okay so now that everything is charged i'll put up Coragus. but anyway the field behemoths now you come up and you have like the extra stuff that you have to do. What do you call? But anyway, the ones where you get four gems. The field encounters, yeah. 
those that ha that say um don't get status affected this maggie is super good for it so that you get that extra two gems or whatever and it's super annoying especially if you're against something that paralyzes or poisons or burns because almost every attack will paralyze or bur especially burn burn you so yeah that's super useful i would recommend this maggie yeah i recommend this maggie i would probably use it mainly on either earth sets or fire sets yeah earth or fire sets to counter poison paralysis and stuff like that earth fire water because you also if you aren't using fire ward you want to be able to counter the burn thing so and that's what I would use this Maggie mainly on. Okay, so now we see the Behemoth. And the um, anti-status effect thing will stay up until it's been done six times. Then you're just going to have to deal with it, which sucks. But anyway, boof. So this is the attack that gives you the debuff, speed debuff. And also the anti-heal, so... That's also a status effect thing. You won't... That won't affect you if you get hit by it. So that's another super good thing. Get back here, you Zaxna. And then King Solomon's Gate. Actually, I should be showing you guys that since this is like a showcase. I should be showing that... Oh, I wanted to save King Solomon's Gate for this. Okay. Roll. Okay, that roll was a bit pretty early and I guess I could just tank everything for now okay now I will have to um, cast this one so that I get the anti stagger so that I can charge up my quad Aegis again now that this Maggie is such a beauty King Solomon's gate can you do that ah, slowness thing soon, please? So this is the anti-heal attack. As you see, the anti-heal does not affect me because of the anti-status effect. So many antis. But yeah, it's super useful. Helps out a ton. I think this is a weak... Oh, I missed the weak marker. Too slow. Thing, but you're also going to have to make sure you count how many times. Um, how many times you've status affected. Just to be extra careful. Like, if you... If, if you expect to, like, dodge an attack or whatever. But it turns out that... This, I'll use this to dodge. If you... Take in an attack, thinking that... You won't get status affected. But it turns out that you do get status affected it would be pretty annoying you can also an easier way of doing that is just checking above your head to see if you have a shield or not okay the anti-stagger is gone i probably do want to heal i definitely do want to heal okay i healed so yeah it heals 1600 i this is gonna hurt Okay, I'm probably going to want to switch weapons for this. And return to start point. And I'll be right back once I find Zaxna again. So earful. Ireful. No me gusta. Okay, so it moved one space closer, which helps a lot. And the status ailments or effects that can really be anything so it can be blindness burn burn anti-heal as you saw i probably want to cast this now just in case so that there's one thing i'm curious of if you do die does it like reset the count so this is the speed debuff so i think i broke all the orbs actually but yeah any status ailments you avoid for six times I'm not so sure what happens once you die. I don't. They probably like resets because I've taken some hits and I'm wondering how I still have it. 
up. Yeah, so I think once you die, it does seem to reset. So we'll take the slowness damage here. Yeah, so it seems like it does reset. I'll put up quad because I don't want to die. I'm gonna cast this thing again. Also looks really nice. It's like an upgraded version of Pure Cure, but the only difference is Pure Cure it heals status ailments, whereas this prevents status ailments. So let's see, I'll get hit by a few of these um, anti-heal stuff. Is that all? Okay, so yeah, no, I don't think it resets actually. But yeah, that was the new Fairy King's Blessing, I think that's what it was called. <laughs> don't get caught with status ailments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!